Greetings from Fin Study Club. This is Ankur Kulstresht welcoming all viewers to the second session on the practice questions which we are doing for capital budgeting. Um, I hope that we have already looked at the first of uh, the series wherein we talked about a very important concepts of payback period and let's see what does this question has to offer. Let's start reading the question. It starts with Coal India, which is planning a new coal mine which will cost 100,000 to be built with the expenditure occurring next year. The mine will bring cash inflows of 50,000 annually over the subsequent seven years. It will then cost 17,000 to close down the mine over the following year. Assume all cash flows occur at the end of the year, which is like the basic assumption all the time. Alternatively, the company may choose to sell the site today. Okay, so basically, if I were to understand this question, there is uh, an option to use the site and there is an option to sell the site. The question is, what minimum price should the company set on the property? What should be the selling price today uh, given a 16% required rate of return? Okay, so if I were to kind of analyze this question, the question is basically giving us a cash flows of uh, usage pattern and uh, the discount rate using which we can kind of calculate the present value and asking us to create a break even with the selling price. So all in all, what we need to do is we need to find out the net present value the company's gain that would have happened if the company would use it and parallel that uh, and equate that to the selling price because if you sell it upfront that's your take home so if you use it your NPV is the take home you know on a net net basis so uh, my steps will be one uh, you know map the cash flows step number two calculate the NPV of the usage option and three uh, whatever is the NPV uh, that should uh, be become my answer that should should ideally be my selling price okay so let's just start plotting the cash flows which is really really the most important part here so my I'm standing at T0 you look at the language very carefully it says that uh, the cost to build is occurring next year so minus 100,000 is actually occurring at T1 and from T2 right up to T9 so it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 including 2 so if I were to kind of calculate 7 years it should be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 so ideally it should be T8 so it says that the mine will bring a cash inflow of 50,000 uh, for the next subsequent seven years. So that means my next horizon should be T8, not T9. And uh, then it says that uh, in the subsequent year, that means at T9, it will again cost me 17,000 to close the mine. Okay, so I think how to map these and discount them. Uh, we are going to use your beta 2 calculator wherein we will just plug in the cash flow function uh, point to be noted is nothing is happening at T0 uh, which is very unlikely a typical capital pro budgeting project where a lot of outflow happens at T0 but you know nevertheless given the case we got to do that uh, so therefore uh, if I do the beta 2 plus calculation the net present value at 16 percent is coming out to be so the answer of the NPV is coming out to be 83,399 which is my option number B so that's a pretty interesting and should I say a little difficult also the key question here was mapping of the cash flows and the calculation of NPV and equating it to the selling price was in any case was much easier step so I hope that the second session of this series of five questions is clear in the first we talked about the payback method uh, in the second we have done net present value let's see uh, what do we do in the next three so this was Ankur Kulsresht from Fin Study Club signing off for now looking forward to speak to you in my next session thank you very much